Okie dokie, well, <clears throat> we've had a bit more playing around, um, and as you can see, I've got the, the little six pot thing on the go there, and um, we're pulling in two and a half volts, or thereabouts. Um, if I move things around a bit, and I do intend on like positioning these up a little bit and try and get a bit more um, stability in the voltage. As you can see, it sort of bounces about a little bit. But in essence, you know, we're talking two and a half volt. This, I have seen it go to three volt. Um, but it is down to how my connections are. None of these connections are soldered. Uh, they're all basically, um, you know, just they're just, they're just ruts. A bit of wire wrapped around the, wrapped around the nail there, you know. Um, and then when I put it back in. There we go, and it all depends on the on the how good that connection is. If you look at the meter, you can see you know you can it's two and a half volts uh, one. So it's you know, a lot of it's down to how this connects in here, and when these are soldered, um, that will make that a better connection all round, and it'll be more stable. Uh, but at the minute, I've just set that down to this two and a half volts. That's off some dirt, some uh, it's a bit of copper wire and um, some galvanised nails, which is unfortunate enough, uh, one of my friends came around today and before he came over he called and I said hey could you pick us up some nails and so from the little cheapy shop, there we go, look I've got, oh there's loads in here, I don't know how many there are, whole bunch of them, so I've got plenty of nails, plenty of, uh, and so I can, I can make some more of these, but look as you can see it's all down to uh, how these nails are positioned because all you got to do is just move it very very slightly and you can get such a fluctuation between voltages if I just change the range uh, put it on auto <coughs> so it goes really sensitive uh, and you know just oops just moving that round a little bit as you can see by the meter it causes a lot of fluctuation and the more sensitive I put that meter on of course the more we're going to see the change as you saw then it's 23 but it starts off on 25 so there's a lot to play around with yeah, look, two and a half volts there look uh, a lot to play around with um, there you go you can get energy from some Cumnall Garden mud, nothing else. Uh, you check it together. I've put no salt water, there's nothing like that in any of this, there's nothing to help it along. Uh, and that's what the next part's going to be now is prattling around with a bit of salt water and seeing how much I can get this one particular uh, cell, um, this one little battery type thing. So, wait, I can't, I don't think you can actually call it a battery because it doesn't store energy, I don't think, but anyway. There we go.